Hello everyone, welcome back to my little channel. This is Estefania and my channel is called Rustic Olive. For those who have been watching me for some time now, you know I've been missing. I've been MIA. And that is because I've been really sad about some things in my life. And I just haven't had the energy or the willpower to do this. But now, I don't care anymore. You know, like you try moving on in life and blah 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 and then it's hard you know you sometimes grieve people that are alive and that's the irony those hurt the most more so than those who have left sometimes but that doesn't matter today because today's video is about happy scents from Dries Van Noten this is a designer that's a guy's name. He's a designer. Um, he's from Belgium. And he has a line of perfumes. The perfumes are... I would consider them to be more on the niche. Even though it is designer perfume. It is more niche-y to me. Because of the quality of the ingredients that are in it. And by quality, I mean like literally the stuff that they are composed of. So, how did I come up across this brand? I was browsing through Saks as usual. And there was one bottle that stuck out to me. This bottle right here. They all have like lacquered bottles. It looks really interesting, really pretty, really edgy, like color blocked kind of bottles. And this one just stuck out. And of course it has fig in it. I love figs, figs in real life, fig trees. Um, I am from Northern California. I don't know if you know that or not. I am from Northern California and fig trees are just a thing up there. They're very common and everything. So. So yeah, anyway, so I saw that Saks had this whole little collection as sample sets and I'm like, well, why not just buy it and see what I think of all of them? So I did that and there are five of them here. Uh, this one is called Selection La Cienega. I don't know what that is re in reference to, but the fragrances that are included here are, and I'm gonna butcher this of course because it's french jardin de l'orangerie uh, i don't know the orange garden we'll just assume that that's what that means neon garden uh rosa carnivora raving rose and santal greenery those are the names of the five little fragrances here um so the way I did it the other day was I literally pulled each one out and I did like a skin test on all of them. I'm not going to talk about how long it lasted. I'm not going to talk about projection because those are things you cannot do with samples. These are not sprayers, by the way. These are like pop open dabbing kind of um, bottles. So it's even tougher to really give you, okay, this is how long it lasts, blah, blah, blah. This is how far it reaches. Like you can't, you can't. These are good for like knowing do I like the scent or not. And I'm just going to go ahead and say this first fragrance, Jardin de l'Orangerie. That's my best guess. Sorry, French people, if you're watching. Uh, to me, this was beautiful. On my skin, it was gorgeous. It is like an orange blossom, happy place. It's just like outdoors in a garden. You're just walking around. It's sunny. It's beautiful. I would give this one a 4 out of 5, okay? Main notes, Orange Blossom and Santal. Very beautiful, safe blind buy for those who like Orange Blossom. Very sweet, a tad bit powdery, very pretty. The next one is Neon Garden. The main notes on this one are Mint and Iris. So I was a little bit skeptical about this one. This one, if I was to have just looked down at the notes online, I would probably not have purchased it. Because I'm not an Iris fan. But when I put this on my skin, I was like, wow. This is amazing. It is amazing. It has mint and Iris. Okay, so look, top notes are mint. Top notes, mint notes, whatever. It's mint. You smell a mint. But it's a sweet mint. Not like the chewing gum mint. Not like a spearmint mint. Okay, not a yerbabuena tea mint. It's like a very sweet soft mint the iris gives it a powderiness that makes it sexy and somehow it reminds me of like a men's perfume but then when it dries down the iris kicks in even further and it gives it like a powdery vibe i don't even know if this has violet or some other type of powder in it 
but it gives it more of a lipsticky vibe. So it starts off masculine, ends feminine. Reminds me of my personality. Anyways, moving on. Oh, what would I rate it? Five out of five. I really liked it on my skin, which was ironic based off the notes. The next one here is Rosa Carnivora. This one, the main notes are rose and vetiver. So this one, I'm going to have to put a little bit right here. Just because this one, I was not the biggest fan of in terms of the entire collection. First and foremost, I am not the biggest rose fan. I like it in real life, not so much in perfumery. I have spare, some perfumes that have rose, not too many. It says the main notes are rose and vetiver, and I'm going to cheat right now and check, but this also gives me a tad bit like incense-y vibes. There's like something a little bit, yeah, there's definitely something incense-y about it. Let me see if I can find it really, really quick. Um, but yeah, if you like uh, rose, get your nose on this one. There is something like very like woody, very dry about it. it okay, rose, pink pepper, vetiver, floral notes, labdanum, patchouli. It's not the patchouli that I'm getting. I'm, I don't care what the, this Fragrantica stuff says. Whatever. To me, I still smell like... There's an incense vibe in there. Maybe I will like it. Just Maybe the day that I tried it, it was a different mood. And now I'm liking it because it has like that incense vibe. You know like when you walk into one of those esoteric stores where they have like a bunch of candles and whatever. Like it just has that incense vibe with rose. Kind of clean. I like it now. I'm still going to give it a 3 out of 5 for the sake of my original initial thoughts. The next one is Raving Rose. Raving Rose is this one here. Raving Rose right here. This one, I do think if you are a Rose fan, you can easily blind by this one. No problem. If you like Initio's uh, Atomic Rose, I think this is like the summery spring version of it. And I, once again, I've already dabbed these. Is this I'm just dabbing again for my video experience here with you guys. It has that brightness that it has like that sweetness too of like the opening of I'm not gonna say Delina specifically, but like if you think of like Delina or like um, Angel Nova, there's that fruitiness in the beginning, kind of like the ones that they pair with like rose and raspberry in the very opening. There is that brightness in there with this, uh, what is it? Raving Rose. So this one, I just think it really is kind of like the um, spring version of Atomic Rose. So let's look at the notes on this one just because I'm curious. Rose, musky, blah, blah, blah. Let's see. Pink pepper, black pepper, rose water, rose, cashmere, and musk. I still think that there's like a fruitiness. There's no doubt like some type of fruitiness in there. So yeah, I like this one. If I had to have like a spring or summer version of like Atomic Rose where it doesn't have like a super heavy base, I would definitely buy this one. Yeah. Okay. Last and definitely not least, the one that caught my eyeball. Santal Green Ring. Fig and Santal. This one right here. This one I was the most excited about. I'm going to dab on this side. And this one I was the most pleasantly surprised with. Oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. Raving Rose. I didn't even rate it. Let's rate it 4 out of 5 only because I'm not the biggest Rose fan. So, yeah. So, moving on. Sorry about that. Santal Greenery. <sighs> okay. Look. Santal Greenery. I think out of all of these, this one's the most masculine one out of everything. This one might be number two in terms of masculinity. All the rest are definitely feminine leaning. This is definitely the most masculine. I really liked it the most. Why? Because I like Santal, Santal Blanc. Whole other different perfume. But that perfume was missing what this perfume has. More of a greenness, more of a brightness. I really like this one the most. This one reminds you, me of like clean skin after you used. Like let's say, here I'll give you an example. If you go to someone's house, um, I go to my ex-boyfriend's house. That's never going to happen again, by the way. But anyways, if I was to go to his house and I would use his, like, body wash. And then you just walk out. 
like that change in scent from like your typical feminine um scents like in the shower to the masculine ones that's what it reminds me of like clean shower skin but like the masculine body washes like that's what this reminds me of i love it maybe because i don't know maybe i miss him i don't know maybe that's why i like that one the most but anyway five out of five spectacular if i was to buy one of them it would be this one this one would be number two but it has one ingredient in there that i'm kind of iffy about this one will be number three wait am i pointing at the right one now i'm confused yes two three and four even though i think they're all great i just i don't know this one's my favorite by far this one's amazing too but this one's my favorite anyways I hope you enjoyed my quick review of Dries Van Noten, La Cienega collection, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you soon, hopefully, okay? Bye.